Hi, these comments are for AM. I'm using your initials for privacy purposes, and this is Michael from BetterTuffleScores.com. You sent me your essay, and this is a free writing practice evaluation. And particularly in your case, I wanted to share your essay with my YouTube channel. There's a lot of people that go to my channel, they're trying to figure out what kinds of changes they can make in their writing in order to score higher. And your use of examples were very effective in supporting the argument you are making in your two body paragraphs, right? So first of all, I have the independent writing rubrics here. I have your essay here. Right, so let me just read it quickly here and I'm going to give you my opinion on it. So roughly you wrote 331 words and let me take a look at your, your actual sentence style and your grade level and all of that stuff. Okay, so Microsoft is taking a look at your writing right now. I'm not going to worry about any misspellings, anything like that. You got a, three grammar errors. I'm not worried about capitalization. Okay, here we go. So, uh, Microsoft Word is telling me in terms of your readability, your words per sentence is 17.4, characters per word is 4.7. So, that does concern me a little bit and your flesh kin K grade level is 10. It means that people at the 10th grade level can understand your writing quite easily, right? And I think for academic writing, you probably want to be a little more complicated than that. So there's two changes you can make in terms of your sentence style and your vocabulary. Try to get the average words per sentence closer to 25, and then you won't have as much of a choppy kind of uh, sentence style or choppy writing style. And then the characters per, per word, try to get that closer to five, right? And I think that would help. So that's, that's just my input there. And the reason I, I look at that is because ETS has E-Rater. It's an artificial scoring engine which also looks at your vocabulary, your grammar, your sentences, and all those things. So the first paragraph, uh, I'd like to try to get you to do that a little bit better. Uh, I'm recommending you go closer to 100 words instead of 54. And you actually have your thesis here, so you could probably You could probably just combine those two sentences. In my opinion, I believe that international reports deliver events better than a few decades ago because of the internet and the variety of news outlets, right? So there's your thesis, but maybe expand the introduction a bit more. That would be my recommendation there. Now, everything else is looking really, really strong. And particularly, I like your use of examples in uh, both of your body paragraphs and that's what I wanted to share with uh, your, the readers. Now if I go back over here, I, I think that you're in the four area here. This is where I'm going to put you. You address a topic and task well. Uh, you have uh, unity, progression, coherence. You have facility in the use of language and so on. Maybe you could do a little bit better with syntactic variety and vocabulary. There will probably have some noticeable minor errors and so on. So I'm going to put you at 25. I'm going to put you at 25 points out of 30 on this practice test. That would be my estimation right now. Now let me go over the examples that you used. This is what I like. These two areas here. Let me highlight these. That one, and then here, I like this. The conclusion you say, you said in the conclusion, I do not believe that nothing can be hidden anymore. This is because of but if you go back to the beginning, it's not really hidden, but 
do people have better access to international news now than in the past so if you want to restate that in conclusion i do believe that people have more access to international news compared to the past so i would restate what you said in the introduction and this also more clearly connects back to the writing prompt so i would make some slight changes in the introduction there to help frame everything where it connects back to the purpose of the writing but let's look at your examples here. So you said, second paragraph, first of all, the internet, I would change this to connects, connects people easily with its social media websites and press agencies, blah, 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 right? You say, my own experience shows this point. I have many channels on YouTube, and some of them are international English news, such as BBC, and the other part is Arabic channels like Alarbia. So I like these specific names here. Whenever I want to watch the news, I can use those channels to reveal both agendas. That was very clever. This technology connects me with the world, and that was not going to happen without it years ago. So I think this is, this is important. You took 65 words in this one example to prove your point within this paragraph, which is 145 words right so that's a good strategy i tell students either you have three 100 word body paragraphs or two 150 word paragraphs so the next one you say secondly independent journalists can reach others using the internet as a result we can find numerous independent channels which express their opinions about an issue in the past those people could not uh, contact properly with others because of the expensive equipment and the community which like to see one viewpoint or they could not see a different opinion. For example, one of the famous journalists in, in the Arabic world is Samir Matini. Again, this is very effective here. I like the specificity. You say, uh, he established his own channel on YouTube and then maybe to avoid the comma splice you can put and then he has more than 100,000 subscribers after 10 years if ever from now I like his channel due to his honesty what you could do here is maybe explain a little bit more what he does what his topics are and so on and clarify that a little bit more and then you're developing it kind of like you did here so instead of say you know 46 words try to add 20 or 30 more words to the example and then it's going to kind of look similar to the previous paragraph there but overall I really do like how you use those examples in there uh, anybody watching from YouTube remember specificity is your friend giving specific examples is very important don't write a generic essay use this as an example of how specific you can get in the body paragraph paragraphs to illustrate your points okay back <coughs> back to am so i think just some some slight problems with grammar and sentence sentence uh, structure and so on i think will prevent your essay from getting 30 but i'm i'm comfortable scoring it right around 25 points that's where i'm going to put it right now what do you guys think at youtube you looked at the essay would you score it higher or lower than my score put it in the comments below all right and then am uh, if you're interested you are a great candidate for my TOEFL writing boot camp course if you're trying to score between 29 and 30 points on the TOEFL exam I highly recommend you enroll in my TOEFL writing boot camp course you can learn more about it by going over to online TOEFLcourse.com just kind of scroll down the web page there and you will find uh, that particular course. Okay? Thank you.